I'm a massage therapist and a wellness um, consultant. I'm also the chapter leader for Extraordinary Women in Helderberg. And we had the opportunity to listen to another Extraordinary Woman member, Lynn Rippenar from Wrap It Up Communications, who spoke to us about the role of public relations for small businesses. Thank you very much, Lynn. Thank you. Um, I want to ask you, what do you understand by the concept public relations? I think that a lot of people are not really aware that public relations in essence is communications, but it's strategic communications. And it's strategic communications between an organization and the general public. And that usually happens in either direct way or an indirect way. And when I say direct, I mean newsletters, brochures, any marketing materials that you send out as a business or as a brand. And indirect refers to your um, interviews that you do on radio or on television, for instance. And the whole aim of public relations is to ensure that you put out a good image of your brand and that you're connecting with your target audience at the end of the day. And we would all like to find our faces and our stories in newspapers. And I noticed from the uh, title yeah. you use for your talk that it says, Stop the Press but please, pretty please, don't waste their time. So please give us a few ideas on how we can go about getting our name in the press without irritating yeah. them. Well, I think the first thing that one needs to do is ask yourself if what you're doing or the story you want to share with the press is actually newsworthy. And you can do that by, I always say in journalism, you know, you learn to ask who, what, when, where, how, why, etc. And that will determine whether your story is an interesting story to tell. Also look at publications and look at the kind of news that they focus on and determine if what you do, whether it's in your business or as an individual, can connect to whatever story is happening in the media, for instance. Something interesting that if I just take you as an example in terms of your business, um, you know, we've had so many instances of uh, child abuse cases, etc. And you actually spoke recently in a blog about how massage can help with abuse right. and how people connect with their bodies again. That's an amazing article to be sharing now and a newsworthy topic. So that's just one way that a business can do that. And then one last example that I'll, I'll give for free. Newspapers have a section that they call a filler where there's an awkward space within a newspaper mm -hmm. that they need to fill. And if you can write a story that fits in perfectly there or even a great photo with a punchy uh, caption, you've got instant free publicity back there. Sounds very easy. <laughs> one of our guests also asked about mm -hmm. who do you contact at the newspaper? Well, what I tend to do is I contact, I first look at journalists and I look at what they're writing about so that when I contact the journalist, I'm contacting the right person. But I also copy editors in any emails that I sent out to the journalist because sometimes journalists are just really busy. They've mm -hmm. got a lot on their plate. They don't get it down to the story or they, that journalist might even have left the publication already. You've got a new journalist and in that way you also ensure that the editor can also will also get the email and be able to give it to another journalist to cover the story. Um, and then to be um, patient. That's true. I mean, I think what a lot of people don't also realize is that journalists, I mean, something we we're talking about earlier is that journalists do get thousands of emails and they have to go through all those emails and find the newsworthy stories. So sometimes, often stories get parked for a while, it gets put in a folder that they'll look at later. And so if you don't get a response, do follow up with an email to check in because sometimes they really haven't mm. had a chance to look at, at that email. Also, uh, make a phone call. That's another way yeah. to connect with to the journalist. Up. But afterwards, leave it. Don't keep on phoning and hassling people. Let them decide if your story is newsworthy and something that they can use in their publication or on radio or on television. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. You're going to try all the tips you gave <laughs> us today. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for the opportunity.